Hi, I'm Lou, and I am a poly hobbyist. Chances are you are too. In this playlist, I'm going to be discussing how to get started with ROS2 navigation using a SparkFun JetBot, an inexpensive robot platform by the company SparkFun. In another video, I will describe how to get started with ROS2 using an inexpensive robot arm and move it to. So let's get started. In this series, I'm going to specifically be talking about navigation. We'll talk a little bit about ROS2 fundamentals, what it is, why should you care, how to use it. We'll also talk about the Spark Fun JetBot hardware, which is a mobile platform that includes various sensors as well as extensibility options. We'll talk about software setup, uh, just the jets in itself, how to set it up for ROS, and how to use it remotely. We'll be building a ROS node, and we'll talk about what that means in, this in a bit, specifically for the motor controller, which drives these simple motors. We will also build a ROS node for controlling an IMU, or inertial measurement unit, which gives you an orientation and position. This is really critical for navigation, but it can be used for other things as well. We will also be building a depth node for this SparkFun sensor, which actually has an 8x8 array of depth data. So not quite a lot of depth information, uh, but it's still a pretty cool sensor. I'll then cover building a URDF, or Uniform Robot Description File, which allows you to describe a robot to the raw system, visualize it, transform between objects in that um, file uh, definition. And then we'll talk about configuring and using navigation too. Now, before we get started, I did want to talk about support and training. There are plenty of ROS tutorials on the ROS.org website, and these are really great to understand how to get started, how to use specific features. Uh, both from a consuming it as well as building for it. If you want to get support, use the ROS Discourse, which is a uh, forum for ROS. I also recommend the Construct. It's a for-profit company that has a hosted training system, plus they do a bunch of YouTube videos. I'm not sponsored by it. I just think it's a really great resource. Also, be sure to check Reddit. I read Reddit and, and post support there as well. So uh, these are various options you can use for getting support as well as learning about ROS. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. 